Look at the size on this bump. <laughs> huge. 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 <laughs> huge. Good afternoon, I farm. Got a different type of vlog coming up. It's not a vlog, it's a video, right? It's a video. <laughs> I don't want to be getting in trouble by Chris. Got a different type of video coming up for you guys. Today, it just took me, no doubt, no doubt. No joke, about 20 minutes <laughs> to find somewhere to sit to film this video. I've tried every single seat in the caravan, including the bed, and the lighting was just horrendous. Came outside, the sun is blasting in my eyes. If I just literally move to like there, the sun is right in your face. And now I feel like I've run a marathon. Marathon? Marathon? Anyway, today's been such a lovely day. Chris went off this morning, early afternoon, skating to a skate park. There's somewhere in Cornwall, or a skate park in Cornwall, that he's always wanted to skate at and obviously never got the chance because it's too far away from where we live. And so whilst we were down here, I said, you should make the most of it and go. And he said, if you don't mind, and I was like, of course not. So he went today and did that. Did you have a good time, babe? He had a good time. <laughs> so he's just got back not too long ago. He's lighting up the barbecue. Now we're gonna have a barbecue for dinner. The girls and me, Isabel actually filmed a video for Sassy Bell. She wanted to do some summer haul, I think she did, of clothes. Esme and Isla have chilled out all day. We did schooling this morning, played with Jace. We went to the park. And um, I did upload a few bits on my Instagram, so if you guys want to check it out or you're not following me, me on Instagram, make sure you do because if we ever have days like today, I tend to film little bits on Instagram instead. Sarah Ingham official. Um, but basically we've just chilled out today and chatted to the girls and spoke about rubbish like mums and daughters do. Oh, the barbecue smoke's coming right my way. But instead of not putting any vlog up, I thought that I would do this, which as you know from the wobbly table. As you know from the title is a baby names I love but won't be using. I was planning on the girls coming and joining me and doing this video but then Isabel just said well I've not really thought of any names. So basically it'll just be all your names that you love that won't be using but might not be mine so can I just do my own one. So if you guys are interested in that the girls doing together just like all three of them together doing a baby girl names that we love but won't be using then let me know and they can film that. But I'm going to do mine right now even though Chris just got back he's gonna take over cooking dinner on the barbecue while I do this and I'm going to tell you guys some names that we love for our little baby bubs but that we won't be using. The first name for bubs that we love but won't be using and this was right at the very top we debated so much on whether we would call her this but I'm like 99% <laughs> sure we won't be using it and that name is Rosabella. Oh my gosh, I just love that name so much. Rosabelle or Rosabella. I think it's so pretty. And it's a name that I've never had on my list before. It's a brand new name. And I just, I just really, really love it. And it was really close to being her name. And I'm still not 100% decided. I think I am pretty much. But you know when you're just like, we'll see when she's born. Maybe she looks like a Rosabelle. But yeah. Rosabelle is was right at the top of the list. I think it's such a beautiful girl's name and I really like it. Even though it's quite like Isabel and Rosabelle, that's why I kind of liked Rosabella, but I don't think they're too close to not be able to use it. But that's the first one. The second name that I really love but won't be using, despite my Nana's dismay, because she really wants us to call baby girl this, is Savannah. We debated for quite a while about calling this baby Savannah because we love the name so much. But for obvious reasons, it's Isla's middle name. It just doesn't feel right to number one, steal Isla's middle name and call it for our baby girl. And then to maybe call our baby girl after Isla. I'd feel guilty on the other two. Like, I don't know why, I just, I, I don't know. I love the name and I really, 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 would have used it had we not have used it for Isla's middle name but I just don't feel right using it for this baby when we've already used it for Isla. Another baby girl name that was on my list I don't think Chris was keen on this name and I don't think the girls were either but I really liked it and that's Primrose and it's really strange because I have a friend who had a little girl called Primrose and I didn't like it at the time 
no offence to my friend, but I was just like, Primrose, that's such a bizarre name. It's not bizarre at all, it's beautiful. But I just never heard of it before, and sometimes when you've never heard of a name before and you hear it for the first time, you're, you're a bit like, or I was a bit like, hmm, not, 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 sure, not sure I'm keen on that. But it's grown on me so much, and I loved it. And when we were talking about girls' names and baby names, I brought up Primrose, but everyone was a bit like, no, I don't think we should use that. But I love the name Primrose. I think it's so cute. Another baby girl name that I only discovered quite recently. So this was never really in the running on our baby being called that because I've only like discovered it recently. But when I heard it, I did spend a few days like, oh my gosh, maybe she could be called that. Like, I really like that name. I don't think Chris was as keen on it as I am, but I really like it. And that name is Thea. So like Theo and Thea. Imagine twins, a baby girl and a baby boy, Thea and Theo. Maybe that'd be a bit much actually. Anyway, <laughs> I think Thea is like a really beautiful name. I don't know if it's like new or old or what, but I've only just come across that name and I think it's, I really like it. The next name on the list that I had really far at the top of my list, but nobody else. All my names, I feel like this time, nobody else has been with me on them. <laughs> no, like no, everyone's been like, no. As soon as I've mentioned them, whereas usually with previous pregnancies, I've kind of had people like, yeah, like, like I say people, I mean Chris and the girls have agreed, but I kind of feel like I've been a bit on my own. <laughs> with my baby name choices this time. Anyway, my next name is Avery. I think there's a few actually that I like that are quite similar or I think are quite similar. Avery, Avea, Avia. So Esme's baby, Avia. Jace would have very close have been an Avia if Esme hadn't have called her doll that. <laughs> when Esme called her baby that, her baby reborn, it kind of put, I'd heard it too much and it put me off calling my baby that. But I really like Ava, Avery, Avea, and Avia. They're all quite similar and I think they're all so, so pretty. So this next name I found or I really thought about like in the last month. Because even though we do have our baby girl's name, I have said all along, like I'm still not 100% convinced on it. Chris and the girls are and it's probably what she'll be called, but I'm still not 100% convinced. And I don't think I will be until she's here and I can see her, like physically see her. But one name that's very close in the running, I don't know if anyone, I don't know if you guys will like this name or not, but I think it's really pretty, and that is Elora. I don't know why, it wasn't in the running until about a week, two weeks ago, or whenever I first started thinking about it. I first started thinking about it about a month ago, and about two weeks ago I really started thinking, I really feel like she could be called that. Um, Chris actually does really like that name. The girls are not as keen, but I'm, um, I don't know, what do you guys think about that? E-L-O-R-A, Elora. I think it's gorgeous, really, really pretty. I don't know many children called that. And the other reason I really like that name is because it starts with an E, and as most of you guys know, Esme, no, I get my names mixed up all the time. <laughs> Isabel and Isla are both I-S-I -I in their initials. And so I thought it'd be really nice for Esme to have a baby girl with, or a baby sister with the same initials as her. And I just think Elora is just such a beautiful name. I also like it cut. Whenever I think of babies' names, I always have to think about, do I like it if it gets cut down shorter? And I think Elora would be just cut down to L. And I like L, I think it's cute. So that's another name that is very close. To, that's one of those names where if she's born, and she doesn't look like what we've chosen, it could possibly be that name. Next up is what I think this might actually be the only one on my list today that was in Jace's baby girl names we love but won't be using, or baby names we love but won't be using. I might be wrong on that because I can't remember, but that name is Aurora. I haven't gone off that name at all. I absolutely love it. And Chris, you you were saying yesterday, maybe we should call her that, weren't you? Chris, I'm undecided. Chris is undecided now. You're not undecided. You've been telling me about the other name for so long. But yesterday, Chris was like, I really like Aurora. I really like short, like just Rora. It's cute. And I think it's such an elegant and unique name. And I agree. Like, I've always liked Aurora. And that's another one of the names that is obviously on this video, but if Baby Girl comes out and doesn't look like what we've got at the top of our list, it could potentially still be 
in the running. Another name that I really like, I don't know how many I've done here, I'm just whipping out a few names that I like. I've not really prepared a list or anything, so no idea how many I've done and how long this video is going to be. But another name that's, I think this is quite an old fashioned name, and it's a name that I've, I've quite liked since I was younger, but it is a very unique name, and I don't think Chris and the girls are very keen on it. But that name is Cora. Do you like Cora? Oh, Chris does like it, he thinks it's really pretty. But that name is Cora. And the only reason we're not using that name for this baby is I just can't, as much as I love the name, like I do genuinely love that name, otherwise it wouldn't be on this video, but I just can't imagine myself having a baby called Cora, and I don't know why, but I just love it for other people. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's another one that we won't be using, but I do really love. Sorry if the camera is looking really smoky, Chris has got the barbecue in the worst place ever. It's going straight in my face. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do two more names that I love that we won't be using. And the first one, oh, the last, second to last one, is Elsie. So cute, Elsie. Again, I like the shortened down version, just L. And I think Elsie is just a really, really pretty name. I've always quite liked that name. I just don't think it's one that Chris or the girls would go for, even though they don't like hate the name or anything. It's always one that whenever I've mentioned it, they've kind of gone, so I guess like some of the names I've said, they like the name but just can't imagine us having a baby with that name. But I think Elsie's a really cute name. And then, finally, the last one. And I always thought, or I went through a stage in life thinking that if we ever had another girl, this was, excuse me, this was when we only had the three girls and we were done, or I was done, <laughs> and we weren't planning on having any more children. I always thought, but if we did then, and it was a girl, then I'd like to call her this. And that name is, I actually just had to stop the camera because it went straight out my head. <laughs> <laughs> that name is Alyssa. And do you ever we love that name? It's so pretty. Yeah, Ella's just gone, oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, Alyssa. And I really like it. I really, I guess, in fact, I think most of my names end in an A. I really like names that end in like an A. I just think they sound so pretty. And Alyssa, I just love. I think it's such a beautiful name. I love that it ends in an A. I love that it's a vowel, like the other girls. And what was the other, I love, it shortened to Lissy. I think Lissy's such a cute name, like, and I can imagine us having a baby girl called Alyssa or Lissy running around. I just think it's adorable and just so cute. Maybe that can go on the top of the list to see what she looks like as well. <laughs> on top of our list to see what she looks like is getting quite big. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear him then, but he just said this video is totally invalid because every name you've said, you've said you might use. <laughs> and this is baby names we love but won't be using. So yeah, that could be a bit awkward. Anyway, I hope that gives you guys a little insight on the type of names I like. That was good timing. Esme and little man just got back from the park. We had so much fun. You had fun, Jay? What, what did you do? A uh, big prize. You went on a big one? Yes. Yeah. And a little one? Yeah. Kira has made a big, good big sister. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Comment down below if you like any of those names or you can imagine one of them being a baby Ingham, last baby Ingham, and which one do you think might suit her? And let me know, and just any names that you absolutely love because there's just not, I just love baby, baby names. I love watching videos like this. I love like listening to baby names, I love chatting about baby names. What's What's with that? Why are you gonna cry now? He's just warning me that he's gonna cry now. <laughs> me cry now. <laughs> One minute, guys. Also, back now. Um, we're really excited because all of our four children have obviously really different colour hair. We've got Isabel with brown, we've got Esme with brown, she really just nutted me. <laughs> I, I literally felt your head skim the back of mine then. I was only showing my hair like <laughs> We've got Isla with mousy brown hair, we've got Jace with really blonde hair and obviously Esme with ginger hair. So this baby could literally have any colour. Maybe even all of them. Like a striped thingy, a striped thingy and a striped thingy. Hopefully it's not going to come out a striped thingy. <laughs> but Esme's hoping for a ginger, right? Yes. Esme's hoping it's time. Feeling. She's got a feeling. Belly. What are you thinking, Izzy? Isabel's thinking blonde. I said ginger last time. She said ginger with Jace. I 
And I was thinking, Mousy Brown, what are you thinking, babe? What are your bets on? Don't be a spoiled sport. The iPhone are counting on you. Yeah, Come on, blonde. I think ginger. Yeah, I think she'll have ginger hair like her nice. It'd be so lovely if she had ginger hair. On the 3D scan, it just looked like a ginger. That doesn't make sense. She didn't have hair on the 3D scan or the 4D scan. Yeah, I know. But you I just, when I looked at her, I was like... She's gonna have ginger hair. She's <laughs> gonna come out as like <laughs> So cute. Are you giving Isla a pog? He literally just jumped down, put his arms around her. He gave her a big pog eye. And I'm um, back. Yeah, he went, yes, my back all the way to the um, back. And um, it made a good job. You it's did made, a good job. It's made, it's made me a good job. I love it when he folds his arms. <laughs> job. What, darling? Good job. You're what? doing a good job? You are. <laughs> so cute. Tig! Oh no, he's gonna get me. <laughs> tig is tig. <laughs> right, guys, I am going to go and butter some bread cakes and eat because we are starving and that barbecue smelling delicious. What do you think, Isla? absolutely delicious also just before I go just want to say sorry the vlogs have been late the last few days signal here is often really bad sometimes when we're out on the whole basically the vlog takes a day to upload that's what I was just gonna get to it takes a long time to upload so it's not always ready and uploaded for us to sort out the thumbnail and schedule it and, and things like that before we leave and we go out for the day and sometimes we found ourselves being in a place or a beach or a cove where there's just no signal and if there's no signal we can't do anything we can't do it until we get back into an area with signal so that's why the vlogs have been late the last couple of days hopefully this one's on time it's not a very long one hopefully so who knows but that's the reason thank you for being patient and bearing with us and we'll see you back here tomorrow at hopefully 5 p.m <laughs> I was trying so hard to hold that in. Why? <laughs> Sorry. Why? Why are you laughing? We'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 pm. Good night, guys. <laughs>